Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make five simple redstone clocks in Minecraft. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so classic observer clock. We've just got a very, very simple design where we just face these two observers into each other and then we get an output. So we can take that from both sides and it works just like that. So you just face the observers into each other and that is your clock all done. Okay guys, so this is clock two and it's very simple if we just release this lever. Now we just have this loop effect right here and we can just speed it up and slowly slow it down. Okay, so we can speed it up and slow it down just like that and then when we want it off, we can just turn it off. And now you don't have your clock running anymore and then we can turn it back on whenever we'd like. So this is clock three right here, and if we just turn it on, this would be considered a burnout clock. This is very, very fast. So we can take our output just like that. Okay, or we can take it um, really from anywhere on this clock. Um, but it is called a burnout clock because it has this burnout effect where the torch goes super, super fast. We'll see it blink really, really quick, and then it'll burn out and stop. And then it'll switch to this one, and then I'll just switch back and forth. And we'll keep getting this um, really fast clock or really um, fast blinking effect just like that. So on to clock four, we can just turn it on here. Um, turning it on would be turning this lever off, um, so it's opposite, just so you know. And you can take your output um, from this dust right here. If you take it from this one right here, then the clock will stop because it's no longer powering this block. Same from right here, you can't take it from here, but you can take it from here or here. Or you could take it from one of the torches itself, um, so just like that. Um, just make sure you don't um, take it from one of the block, uh, one of the lines that are powering this block, um, because that would break your clock. Okay, so then to turn it off, we can just turn this lever on, which would turn the clock off. Um, this could be on any of these blocks. It doesn't have to be on this one specifically. Okay guys, so this is a very simple clock that you can just add in repeaters and basically completely customize the clock length and everything just by adding repeaters like that. And we just have this loop here. Um, let's bring it back to normal real quick. Just like that. Okay. And so what this does, uh, well I guess first we'll talk about this. So the one problem with this is that after you turn it on, you can't really turn it off without breaking the redstone duster repeater. So if you see, if we turn it on, it's just going to go in a loop. But then if we try and turn it off, it just fills them all up. And now it can't be um, turned off or on or anything like that. So to turn it off and on, I came up with a little circuit here. So let's do that. There we go. And take that out. So what we can do is grab these blocks right here. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to um, place a sticky piston right here. We're going to have to take out that chest and a block right there, just like that. Now we're going to have a repeater facing into this gap right here with a button behind it. And then we take a redstone dust out the side of this button with a monostaple circuit like that and then our repeater facing into this piston right here. So that forces the piston to spit out its block and now we can have it go in its loop just like that and then to turn it off, we can just click it again and now it is off. So guys, that is all five of our redstone clocks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. That really helps support my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Good bye. Oh, I...